Hello flowers, it's me, Cozy Bee. I hope you're all feeling healthy and hydrated today. As I mentioned at the end of the last episode, today we're going to be working on our new area, which will house our Yeti. And I know the Yeti likes lots of snow and lives in the Himalaya mountains, so before I even put the Yeti in here, I'm going to blanket this whole area in a layer of fresh powdery snow. Let's see what Zoo Tycoon has to say about the Yeti. They're an elusive solitary creature and they prefer to sleep in snowy rock caves. The word Yeti is believed to have come from the Sherpa phrase Yete, meaning rock thing. Yeti are large, anthropod creatures covered by fur that is generally white. Their faces and chests are hairless, their heads are elongated and slightly pointed, and they have long arms. Depending on their region, Yeti can range from about 5.5 feet to almost 8 feet tall. These animals weigh anywhere from 440 to 800 pounds, with males weighing more than females. Yeti inhabit remote mountain forest habitats, living in altitudes of up to 20,000 feet. There are small populations of Yeti scattered across Asia, ranging from China, the Himalayas, and up into the former Soviet Union to Siberia. Researchers believe that the Yeti is distantly related to the Homo sapiens. Some speculate the modern Yeti is a direct descendant of Neanderthals who retreated into remote areas with the advent of Cro-Magnon man. Another possibility is that the Yeti belongs to a different branch of the hominid tree and is more closely related to the uh, gigant, <laughs> hang on, gigant, gigantopolithecus species. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> There's also some evidence indicating that the Yeti may be much more closely related. Oh, Bigfoot 2 escaped already. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see. Well, you're not going to get far. There you go. Let's just patch this up, which is my full time job. keep it paused while I continue to read. Let's see. There is also some evidence indicating that the Yeti may be much more closely related to the modern day Sasquatch or Bigfoot of North America, which is ironic as that's the sense I was reading when Bigfoot 2 escaped. It is quite possible that continuing research into the Yeti and its kin will provide us with more information to our own evolutionary past. In the wild, Yeti are elusive creatures which tend to avoid contact with people. Little is known about their social habitats. They often travel in small family groups, consist sometimes consisting merely of a mother with a single offspring. Solitary males have also been spotted. Yeti walk upright upon four-toed feet, sometimes dragging their long arms along the ground beside them. Young Yeti generally have bright red fur, which darkens as they mature. They communicate with each other through a range of whistle-like sounds. Yeti can attain speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, twice the speed of a human sprinter. It is believed that the Yeti shares some characteristics with the mountain gorilla. Like the gorilla, the Yeti has an undeserved reputation for fierceness. In reality, a Yeti will flee from confrontation and is believed to have a shy and gentle nature. Yeti tend to live in caves and may build nests of vegetation for sleeping similar to those constructed by mountain gorillas. 
Although omnivorous in nature, the Yeti is known to prey mostly upon yak and sheep, supplementing its diet with forage. Yeti are primarily nocturnal in nature, although they may also be active during part of the day. Yeti tend to do poorly in captivity. Like the yak, the Yeti's lungs are adapted to the thin air of their mountain homes, and they are prone to develop lung disease when exposed for long periods of time to heavier, lower altitudes. Despite their extreme scarcity, Yeti do not make popular exhibits for zoos, as they rarely emerge from their shelters while people are watching. Due to the inaccessibility of their natural habitat, Yeti are not considered an endangered species. While some population estimates as low as 200, others speculate that the total number of Yetis in the wild may number into the thousands. So that's good to know. We should make sure they have a nice tall mountain range to inhabit. Before we put them in, let's get rid of all these trees, because we don't know what trees they'll like the most. Uh, will it tell me? It just says that they like snowy mountain caves, so they may not like any foliage at all. Let's see if we can go ahead and just put one of those in right away. And we'll tuck it kind of out of the way over here. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, it might also be helpful if I build a fence. <laughs> Good job. Oh, ladyfoot! should be used to it by now, right? Back to these walls. Ironically, we're going to use the same exact walls, but these are the best walls for this kind of animal. be happier with more rocks there's not enough gray stone too much snow and they don't like the spruce tree where is the spruce tree oh I I have the trees turned off okay Before we get too involved, we're going to assign a zookeeper to make sure our yeti has food.
Okay, that looks like enough rocks. Let's see how we're doing. Any good names for the Yeti? Let me know. Okay, the exhibit is well suited, so let's go ahead and adopt a female. There you go, bud. And I'm going to try and sneak some foliage in. We'll see if it works out. Nope. 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 Oh, I dropped something somewhere else. Let's see. Okay. Looks like we'll have to use a little bit of our downloaded foliage, which they don't uh, notice. Like the, I guess, game sensors or whatever you want to call it. They don't recognize that anything is there. Alright, I'm not sure that any of my downloaded trees will work the same way. Let's see. No, they can tell that's there. Okay. Maybe some of the Himalayan type mountain range trees will work? No. No. Okay, no trees for the Yeti. That's alright. Okay, I think our Yeti exhibit is complete pretty happy with that. There are lots of thirsty guests. Really? Um, well I didn't expect that. I was going to work a little more in the Yeti area, but maybe I can add a few drink stands? I keep getting the message for lots of thirsty guests, but I put drink stands at every location, so we should be good now. And there were quite a few to begin with, so I'm not sure if there's a bug or if it's just delayed over time. I guess I could put something up here as well. Let's work right here just a little bit.
Alright, so I've put down a little area right here with the primate house. We can display endangered primates of the world, primates of Southeast Asia, and lemurs of Madagascar. But I think we'll stick with the endangered primates of the world. Maybe guests can learn more about them in this exhibit area. So for now, that's today's episode. Help me name my yetis in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care out there. Uh-huh.